have a look at a question from the paper one exam. Um, it's from the first topic within the paper one exam, so hazardous earth. So the question says, explain two reasons for the range of projections in climate change data. Um, so it's asking you to explain, so why it is that this is taking place. It's asking you for two reasons, so you need to state two points and explain both of those points as it is a four mark question. And it's asking you about the range of projections for that climate change data. So what that means is a range of projection. So a projection is a predict prediction for the future in our climate change data. So why is it that some scientists predict that climate is going to increase massively? Why some might think that it's more of a steady change? And other people might predict that it's a much more slower rate of change. So I'm going to focus in on three different reasons for these projection changes today. Um, so what I want you to do, I want you to pause the clip for me. I want you to have a go at answering this question using the images in front of you. So the first one, have a look. What do you think that point might be? And think about why that point might cause a change in projection. The second two images here linked together. So this one is something to do with development, to do with economic change. And this one is to do with population change across the world. And then this third one down here is looking at your natural causes of climate change. So think about why these three different points or why these three different factors might mean that scientists are unsure about what's going to happen to the climate in the future. So pause this clip, have a go answering the question, and then we're going to have a look through the mark scheme and see um, kind of why those changes might exist. Okay, so um, now you've unpaused the clip, you should have had a go at your answer. Um, so it does say on here two marks, however, this was a four mark question. So one reason why this might take place is because future rates of economic development are difficult to predict. As countries develop, they either reduce or increase their emissions. So you can see that here. We don't know how quickly our countries are going to develop, as there are some factors that, call, that could cause a country to go back in development there are other factors that could cause it to progress even faster the faster a country develops it might mean that there's more emissions such as factories increased industri industrialization however it could also mean that they reduce their emissions because they might invest in technologies which are more energy efficient such as battery powered cars or renewable energy sources so as a result this means that our developed countries might either reduce or increase their emissions, which would obviously have an effect on climate change due to the enhanced greenhouse effect. The second point on here is about humans may adopt more renewable energy sources. So if we have a look at this first image here, so humans might choose to use more renewable energy at a faster rate than is predicted. If this is the case, it would reduce the amount of emissions that are taking place meaning there's less impact from climate change, global warming, meaning that temperatures might not increase as quickly as was first expected. So you can see that here, which will lead to less global warming. OK, this third point on here is all about your natural causes of climate change. So this is going on the fact that it isn't just human factors that will influence climate change. It's also our natural factors as well, which are what much more difficult to predict. So there could be an increase in volcanic activity, which may cause lower sea levels because the temperature might be colder, meaning that there's less ice melt or colder temperatures, therefore affecting your climate change data. You could also think about there could be an increase in sunspots, meaning that temperature might rise more rapidly or the, the orbital change might take place. So our natural events are harder to predict, which means that the range of projection, uh, projections could be more complex than initially thought. So you can see that down here with your three natural causes of climate change that you have studied. And then finally, it looks at population growth. So we are uncertain about what is going to happen to the population across the world. So if we have a reduced rate of population growth, it might mean that there's less global warming because less resources will be used. As a result of less resources being used, there will be less impact on the environment through global warming and emissions. So you can see that here. So this is the projection going forward for population change across the world. So some people think that it's going to increase rapidly. 
Some people think that it's going to start to slow down and some people think that global population is actually going to decrease. So because it's such a complex um, picture, there's lots of factors that play a role in this. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.